You've got to love Christmas. Uh, you've, you've, over the years, you've, you've maybe been a little, it's got a little uh, bit well, later. Read the book. You'll see how I feel about <laughs> it's Christmas. It's really interesting. Now, this is a great idea. It's absolutely brilliant. And, of course, proceeds are going to crisis yep. and the Refugee Council yep. as well. Yep. Amazing causes, really close yep. to your heart. But it's so interesting. Everybody's different experiences of Christmas. It means different things to different people. Yeah, but when you boil it down, what's extraordinary about this, this piece of work we managed to get together f about 50 people from all around the world. Refugees, people in camps in South Sudan, aid workers, ex-homeless people, people who work with homeless, yeah. uh, a, a vicar, trafficked women, um, uh, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep is Dame Emma, <laughs> me. <laughs> Muslims living in Britain, Hindus living in Britain. Yeah. You boil it down, we all want the same thing. Mm. We all just want to feel cared for. We want to be with people we love, who love us. We don't want stuff. Yeah, it's, you're absolutely We right. don't want that yep. sort of toxicity of having to purchase plastic things which end up in landfill. Mm. Uh, and, 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 and even the, the non-religious amongst us realise that we shouldn't just have one day of the year when we're nice to each other. Exactly. When we spend time with people we love. This should happen across the board, mm. across the 365 days, and that's what's so touching about this book. Oh, the stories are amazing. I mean, I love the one from Graham Norton. Caitlin Moran yeah, yeah. writes a beautiful, beautiful story, as does Olivia Coleman, and as you mentioned, M Meryl Streep. How did you get them all involved? Did you just basically ask? Begged. We begged, we begged. <laughs> said, please. Well, I mean, we're, we're very fortunate <clears throat> that we know a lot of people, but sure. also... Our son, Tindy, who is a refugee from Rwanda, yeah. he had worked in various war zones around the world and put us in touch with various ah, folk in, in, right. in, in a camp in South Sudan, in Myanmar, in Iraq, mm. in Palestine. So we were able to access these people. Lise Doucet, who's the most extraordinary war correspondent with the BBC as well, she helped us. Um, and, and we just garnered all these people from all around the world. Uh, I was slightly tense because I was putting it all together. And I said, There's a, it has to be a cut-off day, I think the end of April, mm. for you to hand in your story. By the end of April, I had six stories. Oh, OK. I thought it was going to be quite a short book. <laughs> um, but luckily, everyone finally, yeah, with a lot of did. pushing and a no, lot of hassling... It's, it's fantastic. It's such a beautiful idea. And it's one of these books that you will want to read again and again and again. You can just dip into it. Hopefully. You know, hopefully. And, and as you said, it's about love, isn't yeah. it? It's not about stuff. It's not about no. putting yourself in debt to buy your kid the latest toy. You know, it's crazy that we do it's that. It's difficult, it's isn't it? Because we're sold that. We of sold we that are. we have to. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, not to get depressed about, about Christmas, but, you know, the, the, uh, is it the third Monday in January most people kill themselves because the credit yeah, card bill comes in? Which is horrible. And no-one wants this. No, of course we don't. No we don't, we don't need to do we it. We want time. This would be a love. great Christmas present, I think. It will be. It has to be a Christmas present. It has to be a Christmas All present. All the proceeds go to, to Crisis, who are the most extraordinary homeless charity, and the Refugee Council, which it's is a, where we it's met It's a great idea. Son. And also, it's thanks to George Michael. Yeah. Lesson. That it's all that it's all happening. Yeah. It's going to be one of those that you see every year. I hope. Hopefully. I think so. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, you never set out to write a classic, but but Em and I worked on this for about seven years. Yeah. Putting it all together, wow. and then excitingly, Universal got excited by it. We shot it last Christmas. Uh, uh, we started filming at two o'clock in the morning. Right. Lovely. The glamour Garden, of it all. The, the glamour. glamour. Um, <laughs> And we were blessed. We yeah. did about five weeks of exterior night shooting and I think had about 20 minutes of rain in that time. Go it well. was cold. That's extraordinary. There's the family. There's the Look, family. Look, there we are. Oh, fantastic. That was when Mrs Wise became Dame Mrs Wise. Dame Mrs Wise. I do you know. call her Dame? I do. I, I curtsy to her. I bow every morning. <laughs> I she think requires so. that. I think so. She's going to come in and see us soon, know, which is good. I know. I know it's a family affair. It's I wonderful. know. But in the meantime, we can enjoy this book, we can enjoy Last Christmas and the movie as well. Yeah. I love that you've got the film and book tie in. It yeah. Work yeah, 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 yeah. They'll, well. they'll go along together. It's Always. absolutely brilliant. It really is. Greg, thank you. Thank you. Brilliant to have you in. I'm really looking forward to having the Damon. The Damon. <laughs> the Damon will be, be nice to her. I certainly will. I certainly will.